Columbia down 14 nothing. They've really got to get on the scoreboard. Mike Hansen and Mike Aroni are the two running backs behind Mike Delaney and all Mike backfield. Delaney throws deep for Dexter Brown and a flag on the play. That's interference. This time they called it. Not a particularly well-thrown pass, but they'll take the first down. Uh, that time we saw Dexter do what Tellup did early. He leaned into that defender, sort of provoking the interference. Also, Bob Watson was open down the other sideline. So that'll give Columbia a first down at the 37-yard line. And I think maybe they're going to have to go deep today. They seem to get man-on-man -man coverage deep, which is what Bill Campbell expected. Glenn Smith is walking along the sidelines for Columbia. He seems as if he's a little bit uh, limping slightly. I know he's had some ankle problems. In fact, yesterday, when Don and I were up to talk to Bill Campbell and Pete Carmichael, Smith and Mike Tellup were both waiting in the Whirlpool bath. There was a guy in, in uh, just before our team, Dick Alexander, an old Columbia captain. Now, this guy used to be in the Whirlpool before, after, and sometimes during practice, not for one part of his body, but for the entire body. I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> just like <Whirlpool. laughs> Now, there's a personal foul against Brown that has been declined and pushing against Brown. The pass interference was accepted and personal foul was declined. Now, I don't know. Usually they tack it on if it's a late hit or something. That. No. Anyway, it's first and ten Columbia. Delaney to Mike Hansen. 36-yard line, 26-yard line. He'll be close to another first down. Slot the ball at the 27, and he looks to be about a half yard shy. Columbia desperately needs to score here. If they come up short here, they cannot expect to be in the game. I, I just feel that they've come up short too many times, and they really need to score this time. Second and less than one yard to go. Watson to the right, Dexter out to the left. That's a first down to Mike Aroni inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line. Columbia actually has not run badly. 53 yards for Glenn Smith is actually most of the running. But keeping that pace up for the full game, they'd gain over 100-plus yards actually running. You know, you, one of the deceiving statistics is when you're hit for a loss, it counts against your running game. First down and 10. The ball is in about the 23. Maroney this time gets nowhere. Maybe a yard or so. Tripped up at about the 22-yard line. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. That 40-yard loss that's tacked on Del Delaney's uh, rushing record really, I think, is a category that should be examined. I think that should be a separate category where he's dropping back to pass. It's not really intended as a rush. Right. Uh, and that's where the rushing statistics suffers. Right. In fact, the professional statisticians right. have made that distinction. Don't count yardage lost attempting to pass against the rushing game. They caught against the passing game, though, right? Which is deceiving there. Somewhere, Jim. Oh, sure. Delaney to throw. Throws. Dexter Brown. Touchdown! Great catch. Beautiful play. Fine pass. And I'll tell you something about that in just a moment. Let's watch my catch was a lot better than the pass. Dexter had to cut in front of the defender, and he made the play by himself. Good play by Dexter. That makes it 14 to 6. Now, some an interesting statistic. Mike Delaney has thrown his fourth touchdown pass of the year and his sixth as a Columbia player. Every time Mike Delaney has thrown a touchdown pass, Columbia has won the game. Two against Princeton last year, three against Bucknell this year. Let's see if that continues to bear out today. Rudy will attempt the extra point. And the Lions are back in the ball game. Delaney is in trouble, and he's dropped back at the 14-yard line. Here we go again. I don't understand that. Let's kick the point. Let's try and get the two points later on if we need them. Well, I think the philosophy is if you get the two points now, you will then go for the one point next time, and if you miss the two points, you still can go for it next time. That word if bothers me a lot. Let's get the point. There's a break in the action with the score. Brown, 14. Noon is out. Delaney on third down. This is Doug Jackson with some running room. He'll be shy of the first down by about a yard or two. I think he made the wrong cut back to the middle. If he'd have continued either to the right or straight up field, he would have been in better shape. Columbia, I think, is going to go for it on fourth down and two, and I don't disagree with that decision. It certainly 
It's six of one, half dozen of another. You don't make it. Brown's got it in good field position. On the other hand, if you keep giving the ball back to them, never know. But it's a good gamble, we hope. Fourth down and two. Let's see what the call is going to be. It's going to be the gift to Jackson. First down. He could go. And go, oh, Jackson. Oh, yes, oh. sir. Touchdown. That's one time where Doug Jackson's strength really made it for him. He broke through that initial tackle, and then he showed me some excellent speed going to the goal line. That's the best Columbia run we've seen in several years. Look at it again. Here it is. Now we see Jackson right here. Gets by that. That was after he broke the original tackle, and then it was cake after that. He was helped by the fact that Brown was packed in on the short yardage situation. And once he got past the line of scrimmage, there really were no second and third line of defense for, for the, uh, the Bruins. He was able to be in the open field very quickly. It was a very similar situation to the run that Slattery had for Brown, not necessarily the exact same play. Columbia now is forced to go for two points, trailing 21 to 12. Two points will get them right back into the ball game. Delaney lines up on the fake, throws the ball, and it's intercepted. Just couldn't quite get it over to Mike Tellup. 21 to 12, and now the Lions need a touchdown and a field goal to get back into the lead, assuming they would hold Brown. But we've got a ball game here, no doubt about it. 21 to 12, Brown leads. Plenty of time to go, 9-33, and Lions have moved the ball better in this second half uh, than we've seen in a long, long time. And I think Dave and Don, something that I really want to say about this team, whether it ends up 2-7, and 1-8, and eight, it's a disappointing season for the players, I'm sure, but I think they can...